Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick comparison of the Carbon One versus the Diadem Edge Warrior versus the Groovin E. All right, let's get to it. So, these paddles are all very similarly shaped. The Carbon One has a little bit more of an extended handle, whereas the E and the Diadem Warrior have a little bit more shape like the Invicta shape on the Selkirks. Now, I personally play a Selkirk Vanguard Invicta, so I'm partial to this shape. But let's talk about these paddles. So first, let's talk about spin. I would say out of all of these paddles, the Groovin probably has the most spin out of those. Um, I would put that up there with the Electrums and uh, Pursuits of the world and it's up there the carbon here also tremendous amount of spin i would put this second in spin out of these three paddles and then lastly i would put diadem warrior edge now the diadem warrior edge the only reason it would take the last spot is the grooves on this the way that they actually did it is a horizontal groove whereas the groovin and the carbon one have a cross hatch on the carbon face. So they, they're a little bit more omnidirectional, whereas the Warrior, if you're a swiper of the ball, this thing is gonna generate so much spin when you're swiping across the ball. It's pretty phenomenal. Now, as far as touch, I would say that middle of the road, the Warrior Edge has the advantage all the way around as far as touch goes. There's not a whole lot of dead spots on this paddle, if any that I can find. It's controllable from any place that it hits on the paddle, and it's got great, great touch. A little bit less power, but when it comes to the control aspect of it, I think this guy has the top one. Now, the, the Groovin E, this one I think has a little bit more power um, that's because it has a little bit longer face and when you get this paddle moving it has a little bit more throughput So the more mass the more inertia you can get moving forward You can get more throughput with this paddle, but phenomenally huge face a very very wide sweet spot Lots of control and you it's also got a big enough handle that you can pull off a two-handed backhand I've got several friends that play this with a two-handed backhand with no issues whatsoever um, as far as dead spots, uh, you know, obviously all these paddles around the edges are a little bit deader than in the middle, but I, I say the Groovin has the biggest sweet spot out of all of these paddles that we're looking at this morning. As far as the Carbon goes, now Carbon has the extended handle and really, really easy and comfortable for a two-handed backhand. Phenomenal paddle for that. But I would say that if I was going to pick between all these three paddles, I wouldn't be able to pick. I would pick one depending on who I was playing against and another because of what I could do maybe on offense because I could hit slightly different shots with any of them. But if push came to shove and I had to pick any of them, I would say I would grab the carbon one first. That's all I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you enjoy. You can see links to all three of these paddles down below in the description. Please click on that, and you get a 10% discount on any one of them. Once again, guys, thank you so much. Please click like, please click subscribe, and uh, as we always say, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. There's so many more videos. What else are you going to do today? Pickleball is so important. There's instructional videos. There's game videos. There's tutorials. I'm telling you, subscribe to Pickleball Pirates. It's so good.